Hello everyone, it's Brad with Let's Look Brad. So, uh, a little bit after work, probably about 15-20 minutes after I got off, there's a little park that's up here. Um, place is called Keensburg, and I guess it was settled back in 1864. I tried looking up a little bit of the history to find where the, basically the first park was at, uh, the old bank and um, churches and so forth, so on. A lot of the buildings have moved. There's not a whole lot of older buildings, I guess, standing in the area. So they do have a park here that's been here for about 55 years, I think it said on, uh, on the website though. So this was actually the original portion of the park coming in. As you see, a lot of the deader grass, older grass and stuff like that was on there. Uh, but then the newer portion of it, which is across the road there, and it's a new baseball field, a lot of new turf. Uh, they redid a lot of construction and stuff there. But I'm going to play around on this section here for a little while and see if I can pick up anything. I'll bring it back in when I find something. Here's a couple of feet away. I had another chime here. You can see the coins sticking out of the... Yes, it's a dime. Let's see if we can get a date on it. Be nice to get a 1996 W, but it's a 1996 D. Ten more cents to pocket. Keep on moving. So still on the same spot as where I found that dime at. I pulled the first plug, but I rang up again something down low. And I started to dig in there and be sure whenever you move around, I guess if you're doing any metal detecting or whatnot, that's a big chunk of glass. So definitely diving in the hole, you know, hands first, thinking you're going to be able to uh, pull up whatever's in there. Just make sure not to get your hands in the way because that could have tore me a new one. So just a friendly reminder, whenever you're in the hole, make sure you either have gloves, and I do have some gloves, but... Um, been using them for work, so they're pretty holy and pretty tore up, but I'll probably still get them on. Anyhow, just going to bring you in and let you know a little safety feature just to watch out whenever you're digging. Some more trash, though. I jumped to the next hole, had a good ping, and opened it up. I actually dropped the plug that was out the inside of it. I don't think that's a ring. I'm pretty sure it's a piece of copper, the way it sounds when I tapped on the concrete there. But... Crazy thing is, the edges aren't cut. Like it doesn't have a sharp edge like it was... Someone used a sawzall or whatnot to cut the copper up, but... I mean, if that is a ring, that's a... I'd like to see the man who wore that. That's probably a size 23, <laughs> 24. <laughs> Pretty big. I'll clean up and look at it here in a little bit. And I've done a lot of looking already. Just finding caps and cans and stuff like that. Um, I was up at the pavilion a while ago where I found the watch on the left side of here. And then I found a couple of pennies working my way back around. I was wanting to work over to the baseball field, but it was literally nothing there. So I worked my way around the little ditch line, swampy area here, over back to the skate park. And finally chimed up a plug. It took me a minute because I had to poke that hole. It chimed like it was in it, and I didn't see nothing in the plug that I laid over. Then it chimed again right here by my feet. It popped right out, which looks like a, a quarter there. Let's see. Good old mud. Mm. One second. Still can't see it. Clean up a little more. Looks like it says 94, but I'm not sure. I'll have it cleaned up and at the wrap up I'll show you. But it is another quarter. So we'll keep looking along the concrete edge here. Well, I was across the way over there by the skate park on the other side of the uh, play area there. And I wind up coming over here to, as I say, the newer park. I like they got a lot of new uh, features on here, especially this basketball court. I'm walking along the courts out here, 
Got a ring. I just saw it a second ago. Let's see. Miss it. Well, let's chime it again because I thought I had it on top here. This is down in the hole. There it is. Let's see. There's the old rag. <laughs> Looks like a huh, 2019 Lowell. Nice. See if we can get lucky and get the one sec. A little spit shine. Looks like a Denver mint. Anyhow, I think we got another one of these on a different metal detecting hunt, but these are definitely for the album. Um, I've got it. I guess another album coming in for the state quarters, but I do have the National Park album, so I'm going to stack these in there whenever I get that other album come back. But on to the next hole. So literally it was like two feet away right behind me here, and I got another chime, and look, it's right on top of ground there. It's going to be a penny. Sealed penny, so it's definitely newer. And then... I was sitting right here while I was putting the wand down. I'm going to usually leave it on so I don't have to turn it on and off whenever I plug the holes. But Showing something right here. Maybe I'm able to get it with one hand. Get the weeds out the way. Let's send this back here. And this ground here is just super moist, so it's easy to pull up or plug a hole and get you back on the camera. So send it right here in this crabgrass clod. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> there it is. Another shield penny. Let's just double check and make sure, like I said, because I thought I had a hit. A couple inches over here. That would be the shovel. So. Yeah, I got another one here. Let's see. <laughs> Just let you know, guys, I have gout in my hand, so my fingers are pretty swollen up, and I'm not able to dig as much, but showing that, there it is right there. Huh, that's nice. Pop right on top. Be another state quarter? Yep. Indiana. Yep, got the little race car on there. Cool. Another one for the album. Three and one right here. We'll keep moving. All right, so I worked my way from the basketball court there over to the bench that was not too far away from the corner here. and Dug up something. I mean, I found quite a few pennies and I think it was one dime that was coming along the basketball court there, but come over here to the bench and usually when you walk around it, you might be able to ping up change or anything that somebody dropped whenever they were here. But this is kind of unique. I've never seen one of these. It might have been a necklace at one time, but a little dinosaur skull on the front side of there. Then on the back, I think it's the same thing. Weird thing is, it's got some gold in it. Usually that would have fell off or rusted out if it wasn't, but I am not for sure exactly. And I have to get back to the truck and clean it up just to see, but... Like I say, it looked like it was a, maybe a necklace at one time to where it's 
tipped off of here. We'll see you here shortly when I get back to the truck. I'll do a wrap up and I'll have it, have it cleaned up and I'll let you know. I'm going to come up on another chime here. Hit it about 71, 72, I think it was, with the metal detector. And let's see if we can dig it out one handed. Peel this back. Looks like it's going to be right here. Yeah. I can feel it. Nope. Oh, there it is. Deep in there. Another penny. Awesome. I'm probably going to head back to the truck and I'll lay everything out and I'll show you what I got for the day. The sun's going down, so I need to get back onto the house, but I'll give you a wrap up here in a minute. All right, maybe one more before I go back. Bring in 85 to 87. Let's see. And we right there. Bring it back in when I dig it up. Okay, so I got it popped. My ring keeps going off. Oh, wow, nice. That made it easy. That would be a Montana state quarter. Cool. Well, I'm easing back to the truck right now. So from here to there, if I find anything else, I'll bring you in. I usually leave my detector on as I'm walking. So we'll see here shortly. Okay, I'm back for the wrap up. So basically all the pennies that I found, quite a few pennies. There's the four quarters. Now the one quarter that I found that was by the skate park there. That's a 1965. I just couldn't see the date on the bottom. It was pretty coated up. A couple dimes. And I think this is just a brass cup thing I was actually looking at. Uh, it's got a little brass toning on the side of it there, too. Then I got that Timex watch, and I've got to get home to clean it up, too. Not sure exactly, but it looks like it's got a little gold on there. I think the bands are gold, also. We'll see. A little oldie. And then I got this washed up, and it was the. Let's see if we can get a better picture. Yeah, it was the dinosaur head on both sides, but definitely no gold, no silver. But just another find. So if you liked the video, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you you know need to talk about anything, and I can get back with you. Uh, especially for any metal detecting, any pinpointer, um, you know hints and you know helpful tips and whatnot. And if you have a mine lab or if you have any other Garrett uh, metal detectors, just leave me a comment if you need any help and I could do another video, another metal detective video of that. Um, also, if you haven't watched my other videos, I do have a playlist of my metal detecting hunts and I also do the coin roll hunts. reason why I collect a lot of these coins here that I'm able to throw back in the bag and swap out for the coins that I take out in the coin roll hunting. So. If you want mine, go through there and watch the coin roll hunts also. Uh, a lot of information on those, especially for stacking silver and uh, whatnot. But like I say, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Have a great day.